All okay. right, we are back now, figuring it out. We got Hannah Justice right up there in our upper left-hand corner, watching, observing us on this one. So overall, to me, I think very first drafty. I think we're a little bit all over the place, right? Not necessarily the most yeah. succinct plan. I don't think we got this bomb deck, but let's see what we could do here. Yeah, super right. excited. We'll I scrap that, it out. You know, we definitely have some good removal for sure. And yeah. Some, this seems like a great keep. So going first, I think I hate to lose the plot mechanic, but having no other creatures, I think I'm just going to run it out. Yeah, you know, we could do that. We could also um, hold Desert's Dew and like use that on two. Um, or oh, perfect. We've got Drew of Silver yep. Deputy. That's great. And I'm going to go searching. We want to swamp because we do have double black in it. Yep. Great little blocker for the Death Toucher. Yeah, and I love also the fact that it, it has, like, later game utility by being able to pump. Mm-hmm. So we have a couple good removal spells to be able to get rid of that as well. Now I am leaning towards plotting this just to get that extra damage in. What are your thoughts? For sure. Yeah, especially if they attack. We just let that sail through, and then we yeah. can use our alchemist to they're just going to hit us for one the only thing is right you're they may might have a little bite spell like we have as well sure. okay if they want to use their trick on that i'm totally fine agreed so we'll go ahead and plot this you're going to hit us for three we will hit you for four <laughs> All right, so they got themselves a little bit of ramp there too. The nice thing is if they keep attacking with this, right? We have like, just clearly just could bring that in. I hate the fact it would only be a 3-3 at the moment, but. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, for me. Yeah, this is interesting. So I like to get rid of this early. For me, it's almost play this and take care of him. But, or attack, eh, if you attack in, he's gotta be a fool to block, right? To do the trick. Right, I think that like, we could certainly go for it. Cause like, what are we really doing with that otherwise? Mm -hmm. um, I don't see any, you know, problem with just trying to make that trade. Cause I think that Vengeful Town Vote could get out of hand. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we could also wait a little bit, get a four, two down, which would be able to kill it as well. Yeah, I like developing here, um, and then that'll kind of give us more options. But I think attacking with the silver, silver deputy is perfectly fine. Like you just to see if they damage. will block. Totally. I mean, obviously, this is just there's no way they're going to block. That I mean, it's absolutely insanity if they did. You don't know that, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm going with Grizzly. Yeah. And then also getting him out. Right. No yeah. reason to hold him any longer. Nope. And we'll go and end turn. And again, the longer we could wait on the Hydra, the better for us, right? Just sets us up. For sure. Only thing is right now, if they killed this thing, we could have played our Bonnie Paul. <laughs> 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 so now de next turn, right? We could do double removal spell, try and get in. That seems great to me, like depending on what they do, obviously. But yeah. If they keep, you know, attacking in with their ankle biter, I mean, we'll we'll take that all day. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll take that one. I mean, just a minus two, minus two, so it doesn't get rid of all. Okay, so that that's a big boy. So here, here's the tricky part, right? You want to kill the death toucher and this, but then this is going to grow. Yeah, no, I, I definitely see what you're saying. We could also just like, I guess start flying over with our buzzer that's a possibility so um, i do like the plotting of it and killing something yeah i think plotting that is is great um and i agree with you that you know let's see i guess we could also like if we're okay losing some of our threats right now like we could just push in um with like the grizzly and the alchemist like if we are okay, you know, trading one of those for ankle biter. Otherwise, you know I what I be... kind of like. I like saddling, killing uh -huh. this. This okay. will grow. Yep. Swing in with the alchemist. If they block, we minus two minus two. If they don't block, we could get down the buzzard. 
Sure. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, what other line do you see? Um, yeah, I mean, it just depends on... Wait, put a uh, target creature control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So we might as well give this the plus one, plus one. And then if we're going to saddle, then if it's a mount, then it would be a permanent, right? Plus one, plus one. Wait, if it's a mount? Oh, so this would be a permanent plus one, plus one. Exactly. Okay, so then we do do that one. Okay, you're right. Yeah. That doesn't mean that we expect the Grizzly to live for a super long time, but... <laughs> no. So... Now, now here, what would I you do? Of, now, I think what we could do is we could either... We could Desert Stew and swing with a 5-3 and see if they want to trade. I think that's fine. Um, that'll at least open things up later. Otherwise, just do the Buzzard. I, w I definitely want to attack to see what they do. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to attack with my 5-3 right now, though. Right, yeah, that makes more sense. If they want to trade their ankle biter for this, fine. At least we get in two points of damage. Yeah, I like this line because it's like because you know we, we want to see if we can keep the grizzly around. Right, they're they're so tempted they want to do it, but they're going to use their death toucher. Okay, perfectly fine. All right, so we plot. Oh, that was a mistake. We should have given an extra. Could have got an extra point in there. All right. Oh, so, yeah. With the, uh, yeah. Yeah. So one, one point of damage missed. A 5-5 five, five is going to be tough for us. We can't let that get. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that hurts. That hurts. We're going to have to deploy the Hydra. <laughs> yes, we are. Land, 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 land is it. nice. There you go. <laughs> the other really nice thing about this is it has the vigilance. We can't kill it yet, but a turn yeah, after. We definitely hold back with our deputy so we can try yeah. to double block here or chomp if we need to. I will be a little hesitant for being blown away. I would like to have my combat trick before I block this. Bear. Right, we have seven damage. We could be getting into them next turn. They're hitting us for five. Current, yeah. oh boy. And I was gonna say, I don't think that there's like a ton of direct damage that they have. So yeah. we could probably go to six and it would be all right. I mean, the pump, ideal. the pump spell's the thing you'll have to worry about. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we'll get this down. Just not attack, right? Or no, that's... Let's see. We need that to crew yeah. that. That's three and then the minus. Yeah, I okay. think we just sit and just wait to see if we can get the... Yeah, uh... they had the removal spells right when needed, too. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that was the moment we were about to maybe be able to get ahead. All right, so I do the crew with the buzzer, double block, and throw out Desert Stew, right? We could do that, certainly. Um, we could also... Uh, is it a crew, too? I remind It's me. a crew, too, yeah. It is. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree with that then. Yeah. And we just hope they do not have the pump spell right now. Yeah. And what you can do is set the set your stops on damage so that damage happens, you know. Um, actually, never mind. We want to do it per, uh, before damage. That's right. Yeah. Just hope they haven't got it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that nice. worked out. That was that was a big, big turn. Big I mean, sigh of relief there. Yep. <laughs> we're, we're top decking here now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that it hurts. That yeah, one. that is a good one. And it's got trample. Well, I mean, might as well hit in. There's not much we could do. We have to find nope. something. Need an answer. We don't have many answers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll take that. Yep. And it's got to be a creature or a kill spell off the top. Okay. It's a life linker. We will That's take good. that. We will take that. Tar um, oh, that this was our mill. That's right. We did have some mill. Oh yeah. So we've got. So I think since we've got the armaments thing, we can probably mill ourselves, right? Let's just move. Yeah. 
Okay, two lands. You'll love yeah. to see it. All right, <laughs> so we'll pass now. Yep. Not dead, unless they, they draw something here. We'll double block to kill this, and we'll end up at one still. Yep. So if they drew a pump... I think we probably want a triple block to be safe. Oh, then they're going to kill all three of our creatures, though. That's true, but... The thing is, if they have, like, a, you know... I suppose if they have plus two, plus two, yeah. If they, we're dead anyways. Yeah, we're dead anyways. So I'm That's just going to go ahead and keep. If they got yep. the pump, if they drew the pump right now, if they drew a kill spell. Ooh. <laughs> Still in it. In it to win it. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> and... Not dead yet. This is why we needed that creature here to block here. I mean, <laughs> chip yep. in a chair. Oh, well, man. this this could be us going to 0 and 4 together at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. that that's it. We don't have anything that's gonna. Hilariously, if we had GGs. a way to kill the beaver, it wouldn't be able to attack. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? We could have also. I mean, if we had more life, we could have minus this before attackers. This wouldn't have been able to attack either. Yeah, but. All right, that's okay. First okay. loss, shake it off. Gonna go on a little run. I'm always looking for at least four wins in a draft. So, yeah. all right, here we go. We'll jump right back in. And again, though, I mean, if we went green red, I think that would have been the stronger route. You know what? You make a good point. And I think that that was a crucial, pivotal pick where, you know, we went with the kind of you know, the creature that lets us splash a little bit better. Yeah. But we could have easily gone with red and we would have been rewarded quite a bit. So, yeah, you you, you might have had, you know, I mean, certainly right. like in hindsight, you definitely had a better. Going first is 100% I will keep. Yeah. And I really like Silver Deputy. I think it just like helps smooth things out. Like we know we have access to four mana now. Yeah. Which is, I really, I do like that card in, in this uh in this set. So where are you here, right? We have three options for our two drop, right? We plot Honestly, two, two, or we find the land. Yeah. So the uh, beast bound outcaster hover over it for a second. Just remind me what it does. Um, we'll need a creature for a greater. So plotting it right now to me, I still don't want to play it for a while. No, so. no. Yeah. I like deputy here just to ensure that we have kind of uh, our fourth land on time. Otherwise, because we might not want to do deputy next turn. We might want to do something else. Um, Interesting. If, if, if not, we could go Bloodseeker. Blood, Bloodseeker definitely gives us the most life. But I'd do either one. Yeah. See, I actually like to try and get that little advantage. I'm more of a, a Bloodseeker. Um, okay. Do I want to mill myself is the question. Yes, we do because we've got I varmints. suppose so. We got the varmints and we mill the varmints. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no need to mill ourselves after that now, but that's okay. Yep. Varmints is not really the strongest card in our deck anyway. It's really a late game thing That's we're true. looking for. So getting rid of a land and Varmints, right? We have yeah. just more of our actual threats coming. All right, so yeah. we're going to... Okay, so they do... I was going to say, we're going to have to worry about Flash. Enters the battlefield with plus one, plus one counter on it, plus an additional plus one, plus one counter for each so creature like you control. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two or something right now. Yeah. So That's pretty manageable. So I would me. go for the land or just play this out. I mean... The yeah. thing is... The Hydras right now are first thing that's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. We can't do that until turn five. So if yeah. we did this... I mean, like, we're kind of beat down, right? So we could just play that as a 3-3. As a three, three. That's the only thing that, you know, I'm thinking there. Um, yeah. It's a little bit more, more mana efficient. It's, it's the more aggressive and it's more mana efficient. I think I'm on the... Hmm... Okay. Obviously, we have to worry about a flash creature here. Yeah. But the the, the best flash creatures that they have are two twos. So yeah, I think no matter what we're trading, so... Yeah, I would just jam it in. Get this. Thin our deck out a little bit. Yep. A uh, little stick. Okay, so there is a counter spell that we would have to pay two mana for. Right. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? What's up? Oh, I didn't realize that put it on top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, we could have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want that then. Oh, yeah. No, no I'm sorry. No. <laughs> is, is it a May? 
Or is it uh, is it just automatically it does? Basically, it? And then ch I'll put it on top. Yeah. Okay, no, no, so you may, you may, yeah. All so right, we so could they, like they have a three three. So we could fail to search or something like that. Yeah. That's what we could do. Well, that's wow. They still didn't want to play it. Okay. So if we want to curve out, you go yeah. Hydra, for and sure. then next I I turn. Like... Yes, one hundred percent. I like. I like. Don't play Hydra. I would first attack. Attack with your 3-3. Three, three. But this has haste. Oh, that has haste. Oh, God. Do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, pay the four. Yeah, that's even better than I thought. I, was just, I thought it was just Vigilance. I'm going to pump like... up our 2-2 yeah. two, two so we get in with everybody. Yep. All right. They're going to want to trade with somebody here. So there's no way they could take 10 damage. No, no. But so yeah, we... I definitely... I like playing our Beast Bond on three. That, that really feels like it... Yeah, it's definitely put them on the back foot here with how slow they were to deploy. They did exactly what we said we didn't want to do and do nothing until turn four. Right. Even though they might have all the bigger creatures and bigger plays. Wow, oh, interesting. They wanted to stop gaining life. So now we have a big bomb coming to them. I mean, this is pretty much game. Like, I don't see them coming out of this. Because I see them playing a creature and they have to play their sheriff as well. Yeah, we just kill both things with our yep. Hydra, and then <laughs> that should be it. I yeah, mean, there's one no, betrayal. Oh, there's no way they don't play this right now, right? No, they have to play it. One betrayal in the deck seems like a really good because it's like such a huge yeah. blowout. But like, you can't afford to have a ton of them, so seems good. <laughs> Unless they had a... Is there a one-mana bounce spell? I don't think so. Not for one mana. I, I, I remember two. a two-mana one. I was going to say, I think it's two-mana, but not one-mana. Yeah. They can give something minus four, minus zero. Oh, God. Actually. Yeah, I was going to say. And we had exactly... All right, we got our first win together, everybody. Yes! <laughs> we finally broke the streak. <laughs> All right. We're back in this yeah. now. What what is that? Um, oh, there's a, there's a blue instant. It's like it's oh, it's like minus one minus zero or minus four minus zero, depending on if. Oh, that's right. Is that only one like, mana? It's one mana. Yeah, and they also draw a card. It's it's really good for the the is it deck. And that's the thing is, I think if I play drafts more competitively, things like that. Yeah, obviously I have I, to learn it better. But my first ten, I just love the oh, they blew me out with whatever. Boy, we have a oh, tendency yeah. to draw this Hydra, and I love this hand. This hand looks amazing. Like, let's just draw Hydra every game. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a plan. I mean, if we could just curve out and get a three drop to go into our beaver, I mean. Yeah. But the fact that this can crew it up, or actually I'll take a three drop or I'll take another two drop so we could actually plot this. I uh, would prefer another two drop because it's yeah. like, everything has like at least two power on two. So if they have a two drop, like the alchemist is not so great. Or just a death or toucher. Or a death toucher, you know. We can um, also so just, just plot this now. I kind of like that more, actually. Yeah, let's plot the outcast. Let's plot the outcaster. Hmm. Because we want to play that the same turn we play the beaver, then. Yeah, so we well, can... Well, we, we can, can also, if we just want to curve, we play this, we pl hard cast this, we hard cast the beaver. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, like, we got to trade with that ankle biter with something. Yeah, right? eventually, so... It's not like I just think fun. putting value on the board is probably just a little bit more important than trying to get in our double value of all the plot. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, we'll take that all day, right? Yeah. Ugh, okay. Need four mana for that. So we'll just get this out. Oh wait. Enter I'm, I'm so gonna start I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I was. I I thought. I forgot you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did. I did. I did. I did. It's okay. Um, I mean, I, I would. We can fight through this, right? Um, I, I think that, like, I guess, is there any benefit to not fighting through it? Uh, I mean, we're trading. We're 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 actually getting a slight trade, like three two for three. Yeah, three, so and I'm also if here. they drop something with four power, this is going to swing yeah. in. We're going to have to block anyway. So. I would attack here, yeah. But yeah, so I, I definitely agree with you that we should have plotted. Yeah, there. we should have plotted that. 
for some reason I had it in my head, I was like, oh, when a creature with power four or greater comes in, you get to draw the card. No. But no, 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 no. That was just we'll idiotic. Okay, so we could just blast one of these things. I feel Disagree. like I'm fine should, with, yeah. I think we should fill our board out. I agree. And, like, and then be able to capitalize more when we use the removal. Yeah. Do we attack in first? Because we're okay with either trade. They could, yeah. if they try and blow us out, we could always desperation use this. Um, it's not much of a blowout, right? I, I think that I'm happy with, with, um, I should see, actually, how does the beaver work again? It's, is it, uh, hover over the beaver for a minute. Whenever giant beaver attacks, well saddled. So you do have oh, to attack you know what? with it. Let's, let's play beaver and not attack here, actually. Because if we lose both of our creatures. Yeah. We won't be able I to. I also, I don't know. I'm feeling a trick on that one too. Yeah. And I think that now we can. You know, saddle the beaver and also have some ha, beaver, beaver of their own. <laughs> All right, so now we saddle the beaver with probably the outcast, right? Yeah, we want that to have a four four toughness. Yeah, because then we can like attack in with our alchemist and our beaver, and then we can use our. Well, we can't attack in with the alchemist. Well, depends on what we use unfortunate accident on. Otherwise, we could also kind of what I like doing here is um, setting up more of a board before we use our removal. I that's so, so we, what I like doing is attacking with just the beaver. I like plotting this. Yeah, I like plotting that, too. What I was going to say was if you attack with beaver, I guess, yeah, we can buff up our three three. And then if we trade with ankle biter, it's but uh, then, yeah, they're going to crew that get in with the beaver. Right. I, that's why I think I, maybe we just plot the free strider here and then just not attack. As weird as that looks. Yeah, I think that has to be the play right now. If we saddle the beaver, does the thing get, get a. It only gains a counter if it attacks, right? Yes. Oh, they do the same thing to us. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so now they're doing that. So for me, this is a double, double block this way. Oh, easy. Yes. Easy. All day. And this is great because now we can play the commando and like potentially accident the ankle biter and bash for it. A mm -hmm. I'm really oh. hoping we find our minus two minus two spell. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would be nice to save it for something a little better. Okay. Okay. Getting some things in the graveyard. So um we also could just like play out some more creatures but i think you know we could attack with alchemist alone because that'll trample over that's what and i was then, gonna do let's just do that keep trying to offer the trade like come on did you want to make that trade <laughs> all right so we'll get this down yep um how many creatures do we get from rise right now only one we only have okay, one so in there. Let's Bloodseeker, because then Bloodseeker will mill us a little bit more. Oh, see, really? I kind of wanted to kill this on their turn. Oh, I suppose we could do that, too. Um, I'm less worried about the life, though. I mean, we can do that on our own turn. If we Bloodseeker, we have like... I guess if we get another land, we could also get a Mercenary out of the deal. Okay, so Bloodseeker. Well, yeah, I, I, I go either direction, I suppose. But yeah, we're definitely milling ourselves here. Okay, um, we, we get one. All right, end turn. Yeah. So but now, right your... now, they don't have an attack they like. Ooh, ooh, what do we have here? Four, five. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, deals two damage to target opponent. All right. Okay, they go bottom. We like that. Now with the 5-5, five, five, that's obviously the thing we kill because we're still scaled higher. Yep. And then we wait on finding... Okay, there's the land as well. We like that. Yep. So I think we just fire it off now. Yeah. Otherwise, I suppose we could also go for the Gold Veda Hydra too. Because like... Before As a 4-4? Four, four, but it's just going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's do the full plus all the nonsense. So, 
I think maybe we get. Oh, yeah, this is rough. Um, we're eventually going to have to trade for that stupid ankle biter. So the question is, we can. What I'm attack? liking is still waiting a turn, using our mercenary to make this into five power. Also oh, giving a yeah. counter to something else. I like while that. leaving That's this true. back as a good blocker. No, that that makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, that's right, because they've got the 4-5 still. Yeah. Obviously, if they only had the 4-4, four, four, totally... Oh, they're splashing blue, too. Okay, now they have a 5-4. I think if we ever manage to, like, get rid of this whole board, our Rise of the Varmints is going to be nuts. So that's the thing right here. Is this just a Hydra? It's a 5-5 five, five coming in. This is yeah. a 5-5. Five, five. This is going to be 5 100%. power, and we just swing in at them. I think we totally do that. And then, like, after a bunch of things die, the Varmints will have a lot of Varmints. And everybody likes Varmints. So I want to saddle our thing with trample. Yep. Okay, you're good with that? Yeah. And then let's pump up the beaver. beaver. With the, yep. And then we can bash with some five fives. And then just shove with all three. Because now if the Hydra dies, we could play the varmint this turn. So we'll see how much we trade with. Right. Because I could see a double block and a block, right? That means we yeah. will lose three creatures. They lose three creatures, but then we're right. going to get five of these. Do we have the mana? Oh, yeah, the, because of the, the treasures. Hydra. Right. If they kill Hydra. There's no way yeah. they're not going to kill Hydra. All right. So we we're doing it. We're getting it. <laughs> this is amazing. I Oh, they Look come in this. tapped. Okay, sorry. Okay, well, it's, it's well that would have been sweet, though. Dude, we're going to have so many varmints. You have no idea. What, what do we have here? And just a battlefield know. exile creature? Oh, I don't like that. Whatever it is, it doesn't deal with our varmints. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to take this and get in. Yeah, yeah take it. I mean, we're going to we're going to gain three life and they hit us for four. So. Yeah. Get those varmints going. And then whenever it enters the battlefield, if a creature died this turn. We could plot it, I suppose. We could also just, just get, play it out. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I kind of just like playing it because they're at 10, right? Like yeah, you don't get full value. I mean the but, value out of yeah. this right here, right? Look at that. It's insane. Yeah, just another four three. Like, how do they deal with this board? The answer is they can't. Yeah, they can't. We're just swinging all in next turn, and you don't yeah. have enough blockers. That is you have one truth. card, you could block two things, and we still have lethal, so. Man, those varmints are doing their thing. Yeah, that that ended up working out very well. <laughs> All right. A little <laughs> bit of a roll. Nice. Yes, Woo! I had fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I'm card good. is busted. In, like, if you go late. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I'm glad you talked me into the varmints. <laughs> wow. Okay. I like seeing the power on that one. You know, I mean, with a self mill, I mean, like those those mm -hmm. um, two, two life linkers that help mill out. And there's like a, this, there's a really good uncommon in green that's like a two two, um, which is like a some sort of like burrowing badger, and it also like self mills. And that card looks silly. I mean, also just like a board like we had, it was clogged up, no great yep. attacks on either side. So we knew we we're going to trade with everything. Let's come on in. Hand looks great. Can't lose. Not not going first this time, unfortunately. But I do love Trash the Town with our Bloodseeker. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's also not bad on a flyer, though. Although we do see blue-black, so you know they're going to have it. Um. Yeah, let's get Bloodseekers going. Yep. Mill ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just no varmint. Couple lands. Okay, no problem. Okay. It's just feeding the ever-growing army of the varmints. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Endless battlefield. Target player draws a card and loses one life. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, I, I know it's not as mana efficient. We could also um, just do this now. So it. next turn we can mill and kill. Yeah, I like that, actually. I mean, we're going to be fine. getting hit for three, though. Um, oh, you mean... Or do you do you yeah. want to plot this? Uh, well, no, I was thinking if okay. we play that, we, 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 we could block, right? The question is, do we care? See, I value Oh, no, blocking... you know what? Let's plot, let's plot the buzzard, and then that way... Um, oh, wait, never mind. No, because no, that won't work either. 
Yeah, yeah I the blood I, I'm a blood seeker. I know it's not mana efficient, but I like the blood seeker to trade with like this, that. and then yeah, yeah, it makes more sense that way because then we can buzzard plus deserts do and all the nonsense. A good card, but that's okay. We know we still have our bombs in here. Actually, wait a second. That doesn't work, does it? Because we need buzzard plus deserts do in the same turn, right? Oh, well, that fixes okay, things. Okay, that fixes now, things. <laughs> now we can just Alchemist, uh, I guess, plus... I guess we can just Alchemist plus um, Trash the Town, right? Or how much does it cost to pump our guy with Trash the Town? Target creature gains Trample, or uh, target creature gains whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw two cards. Oh, we, got it. we need more mana. Would be take two. Yeah. I, to me, I'm just plotting the buzzard. Yeah. Plotting buzzard seems good. I'm going to wait that. just a second, but oh, that's sure. my plan. Because yeah, then we can get the benefit off the. I forgot we had a 5 4 thing. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so now we get another plot. So next and turn, next if we turn. swing in with this and let it die, even if they drop a big creature, right, we give it minus two, minus two. So yeah. therefore, we'll hopefully be able to trade with whatever they put out. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And they could play it. Oh, well, that sucks. That's nasty. That was a nice turn. Woo. And okay. gives themselves into a two. Okay, yeah. But no, okay, that's just not permanent. What is it? Yeah, it is. What? What? Right. Oh, that's right. It becomes. Mm. It, is it forever or just until end of turn? So okay, it's yeah. still. How did? How did it get the two five though? Um. Well, it gets a counter every time. Oh, every time you commit a crime. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oof. All right. So how do we do this? Um. Well, I think we, we play we, our creature. We play all of this, and we have the minus two, minus two still available. I think we should do it because that'll make our buzzard bigger, right? Well, it won't make it bigger. Yes, it will. It comes into to play with a plus one plus one plus one counter if a creature died this turn. But no creature died this turn. Well, if you desert do their three one, then then it will. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, see, I was thinking of leaving that up as a kill spell for later. Um, uh, we could. I mean, if we want a three two buzzard. Well, this two know, five. How are we going to get through it? Is my question. That's a good question. It is a valid question. I was thinking that Trash the Town plus Drover Grizzly could get through it. Well, mm, yeah, so put that on the Grizzly? Yeah, exactly. Well, Not I know. this turn. But, okay. I'm going this route. Sure, that's totally fine. <sighs> we'll see at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the three one, I'm just, I don't know. Like that's not my concern. Oh, geez. Yeah, no, I, I agree that getting the Lazav out of the way is, is a would be a great thing. So there goes the Grizzly. Lazav grows. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna need one of our hard removal spells here. Although the nice thing is Desert Stew does take care of their six two. So what do you think in here? Um, I think that you could you could actually, oh god, you could double block Lazav and then finish it with Desert Stew, but that's a three for one. It feels super bad. Otherwise, you could use Buzzard. Well, to let's say well, it depends on their ordering. What if they put this first? Then Lazav dies both of our lives. That's true. Let's try it. Yeah, that's true. Depends on the ordering. Yeah, they kept it, so. But we can't let that thing keep growing. No, it's going to be a huge problem. Okay, okay. All right, so. Put two the counters town. on it. Trample, we, we, and we draw some cards. Yeah, I mean. Because it's going to do. Go ahead. I was going to say, Varmints is going to be better after we <laughs> trade this with something. Um. Do we need it now, though? Is there real? Well, I say we. So if we attack in, they don't block. We're gonna have to play varmints. Yeah, right? for sure. Right. So we could just also just play varmints and not attack, I suppose. And save it. Save trash the town. Yeah. Do we want to try to attack here? Do you think? 
I mean, how many are we getting back right now? Well, yeah, see, I just can't see them blocking. Probably not, no. Uh, how many creatures are in our yard? We, right we, we only get three for it. Okay. We might need it, though, because we're behind. Yeah, I mean, I could see attacking here. Like, let's push it. Just push it and leave our three varmints back to block? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because we're, we're still trying to win the game, right? We got to have some angle to get there. <laughs> and then, so next turn, this will be the big pump for us. I think so, yeah. So we drop them to 11. We now could block their 3-1 and 6-2. Only good attacker they have is their 2-3, which will take two all day. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. I know, right? Wow. They've got quite a board. Yeah, that was uh, better than ours. <laughs> But, I mean, like, the varmints are still really good. Yeah, we'll still trade with this. Yeah, I think we just take the two off the other one. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. I think we go Death Toucher. Probably, yeah. Yep. And then, is that, that's an instant, right? The Consuming Ashes, or is it a sorcery? Yeah, it's an instant, and then we'll get to Surveil too. Okay. So, so, obviously, the other option is you get rid of the Shark, but then we don't get to Surveil. Right. No, I'm, I agree with the Death Toucher. I think we probably yeah. do it on their turn, though. Right? Yes, I agree. So we just go ahead and pass here. Yeah, I would just pass. And we need them to slow down. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, I can, li roll. I can live with that, but that's a ton of value late here. I know. Yeah, their deck is quite good. So what are you um, thinking on this? I think we trash the town here, maybe? Because we can make our Alchemist a 5-4 and, and, and get value off their Lone Shark. But we don't get to draw the cards. Drawing two cards is pretty big. That's true. Oh, wait. I mean, yeah. that is a I mean uh, to me, I, we, we are behind. I don't think I can miss out on drawing those two cards. So you could just maybe take two of our Varmints to kill the Lone Shark and then um, just take the two off the, the Lock Picker so we could keep a creature. And then we still get to Consuming Ashes, the Servant, at end of turn. Yeah, I like that better. Alternatively, we could also use it on their Red Rock Sentinel. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a huge gate late game value. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's also harder to push through as an X4. I think maybe we do it on the Red Rock Sentinel, honestly. All right, we'll go there. We still get Surveil, so that's key. Yeah. Hope they don't have a Counterspell. That would be awkward. Hydra. That's a good one. Okay, so here's what's, the question, though. What's the question? Do we do we go land first to play mm. trash? No, you just go straight Hydra? I just go straight Hydra. All right, That's then I, I ditch do. the land. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to get right to business. I mean, it's a bad attacker, though, realistically. True, but we don't have to attack with it. True. I think we play it and not attack. Otherwise, I guess you could go with the trash the town play. Yeah, the only risky thing with the trash the town is we attack in, they could just don't block and they hit us back way harder. That's why I think it's better to play yeah. the Hydra and then sit. So now they're only good attackers, one three, we'll take that. What? So I guess they've got some kind of trick here. I mean, I don't think we bite. I think we just block with our three, two and see what they've got. We could do that. Otherwise, because I don't think we want to lose Hydra here. Personally, I think I would rather take the two. I still want to set up. I still, so That's I want to be true. able to attack with Hydra, be able to yeah. do this and still have a blocker back. I can't have the six damage hit us. No, that's fair. Yeah, let's. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with taking it. Yeah. Right, 11 to 11. Man, we really. That Death Toucher. I know. I think now we push in with the Alchemist and see what they do. Because we can still get value yeah, put, off track put, of the town. Push in with the Alchemist, and then we're still going to pump up here. Yeah, I think so.
Like the problem here is now, of course, they, you know, will have their six two free to attack. But it's if like, they have a kill spell, though, we're about to get blown out here. True. Do we, we also choose? Do we pay just two and to draw the two? Do we care about the two counters? Because if we pay just the two, we still have four mana, and we don't have a card in our deck that costs more than four mana. Hmm. That's a good point. Um, it also helps play around counters a little bit. Yeah. Because um, if we put the counters on it, I mean, they still have two blockers that kill it anyway. Yeah, but then, like, the trample is not nothing. So it's not like, nothing, we... but we're going to hit him for five. We would get him to six. It's going to force us, though, to use our Hydra to block their six, two. If they have a removal spell, we we'll take a nine. I disagree, and this is why. Um, because we would have essentially reverse lethal. So, like, if they push true, in with True, true, very true. No, I'm saying the only way they push in with everything is if they have a removal spell. So Right. All right, so counters and drawing the cards. I think you do it, yeah. And we already have trample, so we just pay the four. Yep. Target creature gains when this creature deals combat damage to player, draw two cards. What am I doing? Oh, I have to choose that one also. Oh, you could choose yeah. different creatures for those. That's right. Oh, interesting. I guess we could have made our Hydra a 6-6. Six, six. Still didn't trade well. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, so the drawing the two is absolutely huge. Do Damn not it to win it. <laughs> I was just going to say, I do not like how that tapped. Oh, no. I, yeah, we needed the black untapped. Oh, well. Um, well, I guess we play out our forest here. Yeah. I mean, Next turn, we have double kill spell. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're not dead. They have exact lethal, though. Well, we might be dead. I guess we'll find out. So that tapping could have cost us. Yep, certainly could have. Uh, that one will hurt, too, because we could really swing this thing. Wow, just a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. So... I think we go for we, it. So what we do, in my opinion, we get rid of this first. Yes, 100%. We swing in with both. They block with their death toucher. We give it minus two, minus two. Um, yeah, I like it. All right. So we just pay the four. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. We can't do that. We only have, we double, have, we have double swamp. Does it take an extra black? Yeah. Oh, it does. Um, that's awkward. Right here, then. Maybe we attack with both. I think we still attack with both. See what their blockers are. Decide what thing we kill. Yeah, I agree. Because we've got a blocker at home with yeah. our um, outcast. So I would just, yeah, attack with both. See what they do. Okay, so with that, I like to give this minus two, minus two. Which and then one? the, the stinger? Toucher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we this get him good. down to two, and we're able to play a creature. Enters the battlefield, yep. we get to draw our card. Oh, we have a removal spell in hand, too. They're going to go up to four. Uh huh. Wow, what a game. I know, right? Definitely not out of the woods yet. <laughs> okay. Ooh, got <laughs> there. <laughs> so let's look at that. That's interesting, though. So yeah. what, I, I have my line I was about to do. What line would you do on this situation? On this turn? You mean like the last turn here? Yeah, so when it's our turn now, we're going to attack. What do, what do you do? Um, I think that we just... We push with everything, and we, um, I guess, oh, we only have the the one trample. Yeah, I think we still try to set up like a bad block for them, um, because I because even if we like unfortunate accident, they're two three, like they're still not dead, right? So for me, I push all Actually, in. No, they, they are whatever dead, they right. whatever they block our yeah. trampler with. You kill that; those four points then get in. 
Yeah, that's of the trample. True. So I think that's, that's what that's... I would do. Push all in. If they somehow double block the 4-4, I mean, <laughs> sure. Then we just get a good trade and get them to one. Exactly. And then we have the Rustine as well into Although this. Although actually, but... they still die. Because if we destroy one of the creatures, the trample plus the three. Plus the three. The okay, yeah. Either way. Yeah. So they need the blockers. Either way, good, good point. Yeah. But definitely swing all in. See how they block before you do the kill. So, yep. yeah. All right. Hydra is so good. Let's just draw that every game. How yeah. That we have so far. It's, <laughs> it's working out well for us, right? 